This video, part one, will be how to use voice meter and reverb to make your own custom audio mixer for Mumble. On this example, I'm going to try to use every feature that I can find on Voice Meter Pro here. So I'm going to use every input. We have three hardware inputs on one, two, and three. We have two virtual inputs. We're going to use both of those, and those are strictly for getting the, the audio to and from Mumble. So Mumble output comes in on the first one, Voice Meter Veil. Voice Meter input everything I want to route to the input of, of uh, Mumble will come out in voice meter aux. So if I have B2 clicked, all of these inputs will send audio to the Mumble input, which is what I'm measuring here as far as audio goes. Right now we have on hardware input 3 a Behringer line input. And you can hear the background here. I have it down a little bit turned up slightly. So you get the basic idea there. And on the hardware outputs I'm using all three channels. For the first one I reserve just for headphones. And for A3 I'm using just for speakers. So I'm going to turn my mic off and you should be able to hear this, well, I'll leave it on, but it might feed back. But here. So, a little bit of a squeal there. But anyway, you get the idea that I can send speakers throughout the, the household here or wherever your, where your studio is. So you can share it with others or just hear it instead of using headphones. But you don't have to keep plugging in, unplugging your headphones all the time. So voice meter gives you an option to have both headphones and powered speakers and I'm going out the same Behringer that I'm using for the line input. For A2 I've reserved another virtual audio cable from VB Audio, the VB Audio virtual cable. So if I wanted to stream whatever I'm going on here, every input that I have including the mobile output will go out on that stream so somebody can hear everything just like I'm hearing it. So that's a very nice feature too. We're using all normal modes on the master section. And input 1, 2, and 3 are using B2, but I'm not using B2 for the voice meter veil because that's reserved for the mumble output. And mumble input is B2. So I don't want the output going right back to the mumble input, creating a vicious, a vicious cycle. So just leave that off. On the mumble settings here, voice meter aux for the input which is this one here and for the output voice meter input which is there so I'm gonna put it on a little feedback here and do a loopback test on mobile and you should see it come in at a channel so, so there's, there's the, the V meter, meter. you can, you hear, can my hear my voice, voice doubled, doubled. So Mobile, so Mobile is, is doing, doing well, well coming, coming in, in on, on this, this channel, channel here. here. Okay, we'll stop that loopback. And here's the VU meter. And it's behaving quite well, but instead of having to keep this open all the time, that's why we, I like this meter here. And you just have to select voice meter aux output. Now it will show you the level of the audio that goes to the mumble input. And if you keep it between minus 4 and minus 20, you'll be in good shape. Mumble has its own automatic gain control circuit in it. And if you get too loud, it'll bring it back down. And if your audio level goes lower again, it will bring it back up. So that works very nice. Now one of the features on voice meter is it has three ASIO drivers. So I'm using all three of them in this example. I want to show you the ASIO insert. It's a very very useful feature so that you can get VST plugins on any of these five input channels through a VST host. And for my VST host in this example I'm going to use Reaper. To do this, you have to have in these patch inserts these highlighted. So 
one, two, three, four, and five, all five inputs have to be selected here. And then when voice meter senses that something is using the voice meter insert ASIO drive, it will automatically divert all input audio to that ASIO host first. So you have to complete the circuit by sending from the VSTOs back to voice meter. And it'll automatically do that if you match the channels. So in Reaper, since I'm just using on channel one, just left, I have left here for the input. So the mic, which I have a tone connected to, as a test tone, comes in. Then in this routing, take it off of master and click it to one left, one right, by add new hardware output and look for channel one left and right. So now, now that completes the circuit. So it goes from the input to the output. And all that does is return that audio back to this first channel here. And then anything you have selected here, it will send that audio to A1, A2, and A3, and also B2, which is what I have chosen as the mumble input which again is the voice meter aux virtual cable. Right there. And I have B2 selected. I've done this because desktop audio defaults to the voice meter aux as well. So right here is my default playback. So mute this for a second. And we'll play desktop audio. You know what I said? Right. Right I there. Dismounted his drive rolls. Thanks. So I guess I'm the wrong guy. It's just media player. <laughs> I'm not the right guy for you. But wait, but Don't you wait. Wish we had that opportunity. So it defaults to voice meter aux, and anything that comes in voice meter aux goes out to the mumble input because B2 is selected. And so these inserts are extremely useful though. So let's go over to Reaper and we'll show you what we're doing with those. For, exa for example, on the tone here, on the f first channel, I've got this, that, this and that. So there's the tone. There's a spectrum analysis. We have a little filtering going on here. And this is keeping the noise using the subtract mode. It keeps the noisy laptop mic from hissing into the rest of the audio. So this isn't even active until I send a tone. And then the filter cleans it up. As you can see, it's pretty clean. And it looks pretty nice. It's a very well-shaped tone. So that's all nice. And on my microphone here, I'm using these VSTs. We're using a multi-band compressor limiter followed by an EQ, followed by the same noise filter. Otherwise, you'd hear a lot of background hiss in my audio. I have a limiter for plosives and a de -esser. So that's all coming in, that USB mic, the input to on voice meter. And this is what my voice sounds like without it. So now you hear my voice without those plugins. And now the plugins are back. So there's quite a bit of difference, so you can really customize this. Now I've tried to use in this example just the plugins that already come when you install Reaper. So you can search around and look in general categories, and I'm sure you can find something useful. On the line input, we have the same thing. We have multiband limiter. Since our audio source is coming from another computer, 
with a little some additional EQ and a stereo enhancer plug. All again, all of these are native plugins to Reaper. And here's what it sounds like without it. So it cuts it down pretty good. And I have for the input and the output going to Mumble and coming from Mumble. I have other plugins. So for the mobile output, similar ideas. And going to the mobile input, you can apply again some limiting, some equalizer, and if you're doing voice. So I have those turned off at the moment. Now, this is another great feature ripper this on off button here. Turn us up just a little bit here. Okay. Anyway, you get the draw idea there. So Reaper allows you very easy access to all these plugins. It already comes with probably everything you you would need for your setup there that you're looking to, or experimenting with. I'm going to show you the uh, settings on Reaper, but the audio is going to stop for a second. Okay, so that's pretty much using the voice meter insert ASIO driver. That means that all these channels that you have highlighted have to have inputs and outputs in Reaper. In other words, for the audio to come back in each input channel here. Now the other two ASIO devices I'm using are the, are the uh, ASIO drivers that go to the voice meter VAO and the voice meter AUX. So I have a mix as an example. If you wanted to use your DJ stuff and send some audio to the input of Mumble, I'm, I've chosen Voice Meter Aux as the ASIO driver. So let me show you that in Reaper here. I mean in Mix. So there it is. I have ASIO selected and Voice Meter Aux. So it will come in. And we have another. Anyway, that's a lot of fun. So you can, just as an example of using an ASIO driver, so if you have an application like that, it'll come in here and go out B2. Now say you wanted to listen, but you didn't want to transmit it to Mumble, but you wanted to hear it yourself. Maybe you wanted some light, light background music. So now I've chosen this one, Music B, to use the other virtual driver. Let me play it here. So it's coming in, but if you look on the meter and the mumble input, nothing's going out, because I don't have B2 selected. If I select B2, the meter should light up. And there, there you have the example. But you don't want this to have B2 on it, otherwise you'll get that feedback loop that just goes back and forth, back and forth. The output of Mumble will go back to the input of Mumble. And all we did was select the voice meter VAO ASIO driver, not the AUX. So that allowed me to listen to some music coming in on this ASIO channel, but not going back out to the mumble, to the, uh, mumble input. 
Okay, so I think that covers the inputs here and the ASIO drivers. So again, to review, we have three hardware inputs and two virtual audio cables. And four of these are going to the mumble input. From the mumble output, we're just using voice meter VAO. And that's reserved just so I can hear it. But I can send it to the speakers on A3 or also to that other virtual audio cable on A2 if I wanted to stream it over OBS or some other live streaming service. On this A2 virtual audio cable will be everything that I'm hearing, including voice meter VAO, because it's going to the A2 output. So everything I want on that virtual audio cable, because I'm transmitting every bit of audio that I'm hearing to go out in streams, and streams, and somebody else can hear everything that I'm hearing. And I'm not sending voice meter VAO on any of the virtual outputs. So that's why we don't get any feedback from Mumble. Just review again. Voice meter aux for the audio input. Voice meter VAO for the mobile output. And that keeps it separate. Voice meter already comes with all this stuff ready to go. And it makes an awesome audio mixer for mumble. And I like this Reaper as the VST host because it already comes with all the plugins. It already installs where they should be. And you can add your own VST plugins to Reaper to get this done. So all the inputs I want and all the outputs I want to send are all available with this kind of a setup. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show everybody. Thanks again for watching.